What is it that Mr. Beast, Jeff Bezos, and probably your boss's boss all have in common? Executive assistants. Yes, they save time, handle logistics, and generally shield you from the chaos. Now, as much as I would like to, I don't have an actual assistant, but I do have this. Hi there, this is Maximilian 2.0, Maximilian's personal assistant. I'm here to help you schedule a meeting with him. Could you please tell me your name? My name is Alex. Great to meet you, Alex. Now, what time would you like to schedule your meeting with Maximilian? Can we do next Thursday at noon? Perfect. So that would be 1st of July 3rd at noon. Now I'll just need your email address. My email is alex at email.com. I'm scheduling a meeting for 1st of July 3rd at noon. And I'll send the meeting details to alex at email.com. Perfect. You're all set up for your meeting. You should be getting a link via email any time now. Have a good one. This is an AI agent that I built in VoiceFlow from scratch with next to no experience. This makes me qualified to show you not very much. Because what I'm actually going to do is empower you to create not just your own AI executive assistant, but anything that you can imagine. Let's begin by zooming out. The first thing to do when tackling any new project, zoom back in please, is to understand the problem. What is it that our agent should actually do? For me, I wanted my agent to be able to handle inbound calls, collect relevant information, and with this information, create a calendar meeting invite that gets emailed to myself and the caller. Let's do a high level walkthrough of the project so I can show you my methodology. Welcome to the executive canvas. For a second, pretend that this workspace is blank because I wanna take you through each block that I put down as well as the strategies involved. The first order of business is to integrate Google Calendar. Now, VoiceFlow has a bunch of native tool integrations, but uh, as of the making of this video, there is no integration with a calendar app, but that's no problem. We can do that ourselves in the API block. This block can allow you to use a bunch of useful API tools that you can access over the internet. In my case, I'm going to use the cal.com API. The reason I chose cal.com is because it's easy to connect to my Google account and its documentation is so much easier to understand than other options. Check this out. In the docs on the left, you have a ton of options to choose from. For now, we're just gonna focus on creating a new booking. On the right, we have a template that outlines how the API wants the booking data structure. I just pretty much took this and put it back in our API block in VoiceFlow. But here's the key. To make sure that this booking is custom to the user, we need to provide four variables. The start time, the end time, the user name, and the user email. How do we get those variables? It's time to go to the agent block. If this is your first time seeing a voice flow agent, I promise you it is not as complicated as it looks. There's only two things that you need to understand, paths and instructions. Paths are just triggers to end the agent block and move on to the next step. In our case, the path will be triggered when the agent has collected the four required variables for the API call. So how do we get those variables? It's from the instructions. This does look long and convoluted, but all we're really doing here is defining a role and tone for our agent, as well as giving it specific goals. And these goals are, you guessed it, to capture variables that we will need to trigger the exit path. Everything else here is just prompt engineering 101. And honestly, you're gonna have a ton of fun with it. For example, unless the other user is a robot, they're probably gonna request a meeting time in plain language. The problem is our API needs the time in UTC format, which is whack. I'm just joking, it makes sense, but it's way different. But the beauty of VoiceFlow is there are so many ways that you can prompt your agent to coerce the data into a format that you need. Just look at this super convoluted instruction. And that is honestly pretty much all of the work. Anything else you see on my canvas is just a byproduct of me troubleshooting very specific situations. For example, default voice flow agents don't really have the same understanding of time that we do. Out of the box, it could not specify what today's date is, but that's no problem because another one of the super useful blocks here is the JavaScript block. In it, you can write custom JavaScript code and pass along variables to the next step. So as the voice flow conversation is triggered, the first step that we can do is grab today's date information, translate that to plain English, and then pass that along as a variable to the agent step. And that's it. The rest of the project now is just finishing touches. But of course, to add the cherry on top, we're gonna go over to the interfaces tab, connect a phone number through Twilio, super easy, and truly make this a voice powered AI agent. With that, I present to you a functioning AI executive assistant that will take my calls and book my meetings. For the sake of authenticity, let's run it again, but in real time, just after I find a fun new voice. Just trust yourself. There is no greater harm. Life without love is like a tree without blossoms or fruit. Nice. Hi there. This is Maximilian 2.0, Maximilian's personal assistant. I'm here to help you schedule a meeting with him. Could I start by getting your name, please? My name is John. Great to meet you, John. 
Now, what time would you like to schedule your meeting with Maximilian? Just let me know when works best for you. Can I do tomorrow at 6 p.m.? I'm sorry, John, but Maximilian's available meeting hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. Since you mentioned 6 p.m. tomorrow, that would be outside his standard hours. Could you suggest a time between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. instead? Um, can we do next Wednesday at 10 a.m.? Perfect. Next Wednesday at 10 a.m. works great. That's July 2nd at 10 a.m. I've got that scheduled for you. Now I'll need your email address so I can send you the meeting link. My email is john at email.com. Perfect, John. Let me confirm everything with you. I'm booking a meeting for you with Maximilian on Wednesday, July 2nd at 10 a.m., and I'll send the details to john at email.com. Great. You're all set for your meeting. You should receive a link via email shortly. Have a great day. And I think that all worked. Wednesday, July 2nd, 10 a.m. to 10.30, 30-minute meeting between myself and John, who is also myself. This is actually pretty cool because you can go to a meeting URL and I actually show up for this meeting. This is real. This is something that you can actually use. Yes, if we wanted to, we could build out this agent with more integrations. But this is a good lesson for the both of us. Focus on the MVP, the minimum viable product. You really do not need your first agent to be an enterprise level omnipotent chatbot. Just start somewhere. Take one of your problems and build a solution. Keep learning, make mistakes, iterate, and improve. To try yourself, there's a link to VoiceFlow in the description. It's free to start building. With time, you will be able to create anything that you can imagine.